Praise the Lord. Welcome again to our Wednesday 15 minutes podcast. Remember, I ask for your indulgence. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. What do you do? Press on subscription. The bell will come out, press the bell, and then you are a subscriber. Now, we started this series of teaching last week, Monday, and today is Wednesday. Monday, this is the second Wednesday. On the subject, the truth will make you free. And uh, we started by saying that the passage in Mark 8 32 actually is rightly translated in King James Version to mean, and the truth shall make, not the truth shall set you free. Because make involves process. When I take Panadol, I don't try to aid the Panadol to work. I expect the different part to make me whole. So I give it time. Now, when it comes to spiritual healing, too, most of the times it's, there are instances where healing were not instant in the ministry of Jesus. I've showed it. I've showed it. So don't jump to conclusion when hand is laid on you and you are not healed instantly that you are not healed. No, 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 no. Sometimes it may need to go through process. I've explained that in the past one week. So please watch it again. It will help, help your faith. It will help your faith. So make is very important. It involves process. Now, by last week, by this week Monday, we started coming to verse 36 that says, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Now, the Son shall make. It didn't say the Son shall set you free. No, if the Son shall make. Now, when the Bible says the Son shall make, it's like saying, it's like talking to about your pharmacist. Your pharmacist did not set the drug. Your pharmacist processed the drug. The drug took time. They titrated it. They know how much of this they need to put in. They know how much of that they need to put in. They know how much must be in one milliliter. It was processed. Now once it was, when they finished the process, they not give it to you. And then do you know what? You not got healed. Now in the case of spiritual, the Bible says, if the son therefore shall make you free. So meaning that Christ had already processed my healing. My healing was processed by Jesus. Now listen to me. If you have faith in your pharmacist, how much more will you have faith in the finished work of Christ? How much? <laughs> how much more will you have faith in the finished work of Christ? So, if they give you drug, that's why you see some people say, ah, I like Glazo, uh, this, I like this, because you have confidence in those pharmacists. Because over the time, they have made name. They have established the fact that their drugs are effective. Now listen to me. Jesus Christ is more effective than they are. This healing that has started a process of healing in your body was processed by Christ. And the Bible is emphatically saying it. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. There's no doubt about it. There's no question about it. Listen to me. Now, meaning that once hand is laid on you, once hand is laid on you, you can go to bed. You can put it in the bank. You can put your life on the line. It will come to pass. Because if the Son shall make, listen to me. Jesus Christ did not obtain our healing just 2,000 years ago. He obtained our healing at the foundation of the earth. By his stripes, he were healed. It's been established that he received stripes. It's been established that he received stripes. So if he received stripes and it's been established that he did, then you can be rest assured that the healing is coming to pass. How long depends on you? <laughs> how long depends on you? It depends on how much of the truth that is in you. Like I said, the reason why people are not healed is not the absence of the truth. Jesus has done all he needed to do about our healing. We need to discover it and this is the knowledge that brings about our healing. The truth we know is what makes the difference. Any truth we don't know cannot bring about our healing. Cannot bring about our healing, including what Jesus has done about our healing. So if you want to be healed in your body, then you need to make yourself available for knowledge long before you ever fall sick. And there's no shortcut to getting healed, not even during the days of Jesus, according to Luke 5.15. Look at Luke 5.15. He said, but so much the more went there, a fame abroad of him, and great multitude came together to hear. 
they came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities so you see there's a need to hear there's a need to get yourself exposed to information about what Christ has done now when you know so much about what Christ has done to make you free when sickness comes it needs a strong resistance in you and you repel it so that's why some people will tell you that they have never fallen sick in the past 30 years it's not that sickness did not come what it simply means that sickness left the same second it came why because they are so loaded with truth that the sickness couldn't stay in their body so that's the in Luke 6, 17, again, the Bible said that, and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their disease. So in these passages above, the people know the order of service in Jesus' healing meetings. They came together to hear him preach first to them and then to be healed of their sicknesses. Not the other way around. Why do we want it different today? Today, people want to be healed without being preached to at all. And they expect the preacher to do it all for them. When it comes to their healing, it's not going to work that way. It's not going to work that way. But that's why that's the challenge is today. That's what it's like. The Bible says, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. So there's a need for you to know the truth beforehand. There's a need for you to know the truth beforehand. Don't wait until you are sick before you understand what Christ has done for you for your healing. Don't wait until you fall sick. Now that determines whether you're going to recover in one second, whether you're going to recover in one minute, whether you're going to recover in one day, in one week, in one month, in one year. It depends on the amount of truth that is in you. It depends on the amount of truth that is in you. You see, you see, let me put it this way. When a child receives immunization and an epidemic broke out, he might not fall sick. He will likely not fall sick. But when a child does not have immunization and epidemic broke out, the child might, might not survive it. No, you see, that is the same thing. That is the same thing. There are different levels of truth that we know about our healing that makes it faster for us to recover when there's sickness attack. Especially most ministers. Most ministers spend time reading the Bible to preach. But do you know what? They don't have the truth about healing words in their body. So sometimes they are down like church members and even die. Not because they don't know the Bible. No, they know the Bible. Do you know what? The truth that established malaria drug is even from the truth that established antibiotics. So the truth you know about money in the Bible will not sustain you in the day of sickness. You need to know truth about healing. So I believe that people need to make themselves much more available for teachings on healing today than they make themselves available for any other teaching. Because what makes them healed is the truth they know and not just what Jesus has done to obtain our healing for us. You see, the pharmacists have worked very hard. They've processed the drug. They've carried out the research. They processed the drug. The drug is there on the shelf. But do you know what? You can be in your house sick and you are dying of an infection. And the drug to heal you is on the shelf. Now you need to know the truth about going to the pharmacies, asking for a certain drug, take it, and then you are healed. So we need to know truth about what Jesus has done. About what Jesus has done for us to be healed. And do you know what? That speeds up the recovery time. That determines how long 
with how fast we're going to recover. So, 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 so that's what I'm saying. So there's nothing wrong in getting more truth and loading yourself with more truth when you're trying to recover. If, the more truth you are coming encounter with, the faster you recover. Now that's what that's 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 what we're teaching. That's what you know the truth and the truth will make you free. You know the truth and the truth will make you free. Now listen to this. I've seen people who have malaria and it is stubborn. They've tried and tried and tried, and one day somebody told them and said, Okay, have you tried so so and so and so leave? And the guy says, So so I've never tried that before. Say, go and take it. They took it and it knocked off the malaria. You see, in the process, while they were sick, they discovered more truth and it, it helped them out. I will end up with this, then we'll conclude on Friday. I had a church member who gave this testimony. She, she had a wound, no, a member of their family had a wound. And, and they've seen several doctors who had treated the wound and the, and the wound did not go. So one day, they met with another doctor and the doctor now asked them a question. He said, have you tried aloe vera? They said, aloe vera? They said, what is aloe vera? So he brought a specimen and showed them. They said, wow, we have this aloe vera as a flower in front of our door. Now, meaning that they pass through the aloe vera every day, going to spend thousands of naira for healing, come back and pass the same aloe vera and sleep in the house and wake up the following day and they've done that for months. But the day they know about the truth, the aloe vera can heal. They, be, they didn't go to look for any doctor again. They pick it off in front of their house, broke it up, and begin to put the gel. And in less than one week, they recovered. In less than one week, they recover. So, so, so that's what I'm trying to say. Even while you are waiting for recovery, listen to me. Don't spend your time on Facebook, watching Facebook, watching irrelevant TV program. Absorb more truth. Absorb more truth. Absorb more truth. And do you know what? I'm out of time right now. So on Friday, I will see you when we'll be tightening up this whole process on the truth will make you free. God bless you. For me, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will see you in our Friday podcast.